thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. A short time ago, I took a phone call from the Leader of the Opposition, Mr Daly, who conceded that the next government formed in New South Wales. <laughs> that the next government in New South Wales will be the Berejikli and Barilaro government. Mr Daly uh, for the call, obviously, but also, also to him and every single person who put their, themselves up for election uh, in this wonderful contest. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, can I please send this strong message to the community? Whether, whether or not my government is a majority government or a minority government, we will work closely with the three independents that are elected in the New South Wales Parliament, and that is so important for stability and strength here in New South Wales. But ladies and but ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, I want to thank the people of this great state for having confidence in me and my government. One of the best, one of the deepest privileges of my job is to visit the great people across this great state, every corner of this state, and we will continue to govern for all of us, for all of you. Can I start my th by thanking the Deputy Premier and the Leader of the Nationals, John Barillaro. John has ably led, led, ably led his party in our government and I want to commend them for running such a strong campaign and acknowledge the work ahead for both of us. Can I thank, can I thank my hard-working Deputy Dom Perite, who's probably still on TV. And, uh, and can, I, can, I thank, can I thank so deeply and earnestly every single one of my colleagues? Uh, if I start mentioning names now, it won't end. But my colleagues have been focused and disciplined and working hard for the people of this state, and that's why we're in this position. I want to acknowledge all of them. Can I also acknowledge candidates from all sides who put up their hand and perhaps were not successful this evening? Thank you for making our democracy strong in New South Wales. We appreciate your efforts. And none of us would be here tonight if it were not for the Liberal Party. Yeah. And I'm very proud that this evening, for the first time in nearly half a century, the people of New South Wales have seen fit to give us our third term in government. Proudly, most proudly I stand before you tonight to say that the Liberal Party still will not concede a single seat lost in this election. In fact, in fact, I'm proud to say that in some of our seats we've had a swing to the government. this evening would not be possible without the support of our volunteers and the party organisation throughout the state and I want to extend my deepest gratitude in particular to the most outstanding campaign director in the world, Chris Stone. He deserves all of that and more. 
Can I also acknowledge our party president, who always provided wise counsel, Philip Ruddick, and thank you for your presidency, yeah. Philip. But of course, tonight in the audience, we also have our party elder and former Prime Minister, John Howard. I want to thank him for his support. We have, of course, and Mrs Howard. Thank you so much for being here as well, Mrs Howard. And also, I'm pleased to say former Premier Nick Reiner is also with us today. But ladies and gentlemen, we know, we know that in a few months our party will be in a battle as well. And I want to tell the Prime Minister Scott Morrison who's here this evening, we will do everything we can to support you and your government's re-election. Can I also thank, personally, my absolutely wonderful team of staff who I can't thank enough. Uh, led, led by the outstanding Sarah Crookshank. Thank you, Sarah. And all of you have been amazing and I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. Can I also give a shout out to Team Willoughby who are in the North Sydney Lease Club and, um, and thank them. And of course, where would any of us be without our family? And I want to thank my parents and my sisters. My sister, I want to thank my parents, my sister Rita, and I think all of you know Mary. Ladies and gentlemen, I am most proud of the state of New South Wales. I'm incredibly proud of the wonderful place in which we live. And what is most important to me is that no matter what your background, where you live, what your circumstances, everybody in this state has the chance to be their best. A state in which someone with a long surname and a woman can be the Premier of New South Wales. that for a second or two <laughs> but it ends here because because tonight is about the people of New South Wales and the future of our state yeah. and I will continue to work my team and I will continue to work our guts out to make sure this state and its people have the best opportunities on the planet yeah. that we continue we continue to provide a strong budget the projects, the infrastructure our communities need and the services they need, and we continue to take the pressure off families. Ladies and gentlemen, people of New South Wales, thank you so much, and I look forward to working into the future. Thank you.